Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a haul that I got from YesStyle consisting of Sea Beauty as well as Korean Beauty. So first up, I am going to unbox these Mertzi eyeliners. I got them in three different colors. I've actually gotten these eyeliners before. So the first one is Sienna Brown. Looks like so. And the reason I really like these is I have oily eyelids and these do not run down to my water lid. So that's Sierra Brown. The next one is G5 Rosy Burgundy. And these are quite affordable as well. So that's why I bought a couple. So G5 Rosy Burgundy. Very creamy. Okay. And then the last one is G1 Black Moon. Looks like that. And it has an automatic retractor here, which is nice. So I don't need to sharpen it when I am near the bottom. Okay, so these are the three eyeliners. Next thing I got were some blushers as well as highlighters. So I'll start with the highlighters. I got the I'm Mimi Shine Catcher Highlighter in, let's see, this is 01 from Sunshine. Looks like so. Like this. This is what it looks like. Oh, I thought this was the color of the highlighter, but it is actually a piece of plastic. This is the highlighter. It's very creamy. And it's kind of like rose gold, like very light rose gold. Swatch it right here. Hopefully you can see it. It's like rose gold silverish. This is a powder highlighter. The next thing I got was from Glint Stick Highlighter. Um, and this is, let's see, in 02 Milky Moon. Oh, it's in a box, so it's cute. Kind of like a lipstick. This looks to be a cream highlighter. i put it right here. It's got more of a pinky sparkle than the I'm Mimi highlighter. It's, yeah, this is more pink. And of course it's, um, it's more creamy than a powder. It has pink sparkles. I would say the I Mimi looks a bit more pigmented than this one, but they both uh, look like they would do quite well. Different type of style. And then the next highlighter I got See, did I get any more highlighters? Nope, I didn't get any more highlighters. Except for, I guess technically this is a highlighter. This is by Judy Doll and it's the Brighton Palette Duo and I got it in number two. I believe this is a powder. So, let's see, Judy Doll. Oh, and there we go. Has a little puff. Comes with little stick thing to peel off and this is the powder and this is like a cream so this is more of like um, a matte highlighter I guess you can call it to brighten your mid face I'm gonna put this right here it's quite light and right here this one is more yellow um, powder is a little bit more yellow 
and this cream one is a little bit more pink. I don't know if you can see that. It's quite sticky too. That's Judy doll. Okay, and then I got quite a few blushes. So the first one is the Herb Moist Ampoule Blusher in the color 01 Nude Beige. looks like this kind of like a foundation oh I squirted too much oh it's fine this is what it looks like it's got a very watery consistency I'm just gonna blend it out I'm gonna put too much there but hopefully you can see what it looks like Seems pretty easy to blend. So, go. And then the next thing I got was the News Mousse Care Cheek in the number 01 Taro Mousse. This is the first time I bought from this brand. Ooh, how do you open this? Black Cicas Essence. Oh, interesting packaging. Oh, very pretty. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a glass. Packaging. Similar to the her, it's like a pump as well. Since they're both liquid. I'm gonna put it right next to the her. Not too much this time. There we go. And this is like a pinkish lavender color. Spread it out. Oop, a little bit of that one next to me. Looks like that. It's maybe a little cooler tone. But that's okay, we can work with it. So this is warm tone, this is a bit more cooler purple. But I was hoping to use this as like a highlight for my mid face. And then the next thing I got is from Lily by Red, the Love, Be Love Beam Cheek Balm in the number six. Looks like so. It's like a coral color. This is also a cream. Mainly bought cream and liquid makeup products this time. It melts very well. It melts, um, the color is a lot lighter than the original hand shows. So I'm gonna swipe it right here, right next to, to the purple and it is a baby pink color. It's not actually a coral. So, there we go. Hopefully it comes out on camera. It's kind of like a chalky when I rub it. That's what it looks like. All right, and then the next thing I got I believe these are all Sea Beauty. Uh, this is for Red, and it is their cream blush, I believe. It's in the number five. Actually, not sure, but I'll put the name in the description. And this is what it looks like. The packaging is so pretty. It's a butterfly. It has a little puff. Heart puff. This might not actually be cream blush. Is this powder? Not sure what I bought. Oh, I think this might be powder highlight. But it looks like so. It's 
kind of like a powder that was loose but then compressed together. So I'm going to put it right here next to the baby pink. And it is a purple color. It's very similar to, it's a lighter shade of this purple. So it's a pinkish purple. Hopefully that comes through. And then the next thing I got was by Judy Doll. It's the Judy Doll Blush Cushion in number one. Keep packaging. And it is has a mirror and this cute little compact. So it's kind of like. Oh, it's a twist and then open. There we go. Ah, interesting. So there's no color in the beginning. Might need to push a little bit. That's the color. I'm going to use this hand. And it's a pinkish, light pink color. So here is the florette sure if it's showing up in camera and it is very similar to the florette so I, I can tell the florette is a little bit more purple um it's a different texture but they almost look exactly the same a little hard to open I'm not sure how I feel about the packaging uh, the twisting was kind of hard and then we got the Judy doll liquid blush in number one And it is, looks like it's a liquid type cream blush. Let's see, let's twist this open. Oh, very cute. And then I'll put this, I'll put this right here. Ah, uh, this is, looks like it might be a little bit more cool tone. But it looks like this. It's a bright, I wouldn't say hot pink, but it's definitely on the brighter side. See that? It is a, as I am working with it, there is a little bit of a piling on here and I don't have makeup or anything on my arm. So, interesting. I guess we'll have to see how it works. And then the last thing I got was this Judy Doll Dual Color Setting Powder. Quite a few different setting powders, so I was interested to see how this one fares. And this is in number one. I always really love the packaging. And it's actually a blue and purple color. This is what it looks like. Put this up. And see that? It's a light blue and a light purple. It's very soft. I'm putting this on. Definitely have to try this on my face to see if it has brightening effects because right now when I mix these, it just looks like your typical white setting powder, but we'll see how it goes. But that's it for my haul today from YesStyle. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.